In this video, we're going to talk about filters and sorting in, in Access. When you're looking at the raw data of a table, sometimes you will see you have too many fields or too many records and you want to just have a subset of the actual data and you don't want to use a query or a report because you are going to edit the data directly onto the tables remember the table contains the data itself for this particular table I only have two records so this filter will be very small what we'll do is click on the status column or any of the fields in the status column and then I'm going to click on the filter up at the top you notice the filter shows up with four options because there's only two records one says absence and one says present it shows both options it shows blanks in case there were any or see them all for instance I want to see only the absent records you notice only the absence shows up I can go back and just show the present and remove the absence and now it shows the other record you can always turn off the filter by clicking on the toggle filter button and now we can see them all this is what's called filter by selection which displays only the records that match the selected criteria you can filter by form which displays table records based on multiple criteria filter by form enables the user to apply the logical expressions and and or we're going to explain what are those in class however we're going to go and click on advanced and click on filter by form And then we're going to look for the status that says present, or we can click another an excuse, for instance. And now, once we have selected our criteria, we apply the filter and it's showing both because we selected present or an excuse let's go back and remove one and we can then save this as applying to the apply the filter and you notice only shows only one I can toggle the same way turn it off we can also apply an advanced filter or short what's the difference you will notice in the previous one we can select by a filter by a by a column whereas in the advanced we can use a comparison operator which is used to evaluate relationship between two quantities 
to determine if they are equal, not equal, greater, or less than the other. Well, um, if you notice the idea is there is one and there is number six, so we are going to use the ID and the criteria will be greater than five for instance and then I want to apply this sort and only one shows up for instance in um, in a payroll table, sometimes it's easier to see who who are the employees who's been over one year working in the company, so you can do them the evaluation. Or maybe they have multiple dependents, let's say five, and then the taxes will apply differently. That's just a couple of examples I can think of, but it comes handy when you can do relation operators with um, greater, equal, or less than, or not equal. Let's go back to this. I to do the non-equal, I can do the greater than and less than signs. and it shows only number one. You can always turn it off and then it shows them all. All right. Also for shorting is very similar. Sometimes you're looking for a record that might be at the bottom of the uh, table and you don't want to go scroll 10,000 records to find it so what you do is the same way instead of hitting filter you can um, sort it by clicking on this little arrow at the top and then you can click from largest to smallest, so it goes in descending order. Or goes in ascending order. It's also in the same filter section, but this is only sorting. You notice everything else, the filters are left unchecked. If I check one, then now it's filter. You can also just use this buttons here to change from ascending or descending or you can remove the sort we're gonna talk in class when you know what software to use if you rather use access or you rather use excel for now, you should be able to go ahead and do the hands-on exercises of page 91 and we'll have one more video which is talking about the relational database. Thank you.